In this video, I'll be showing you how to register a domain using AWS. The service you use is called Route 53. To access Route 53, just log into your AWS console. Once in the console, search for root and then select the first option, which is Route 53. Route 53 is a highly available and scalable managed cloud domain name system, DNS service. It enables you to reduce latency by allowing you to customize DNS routing policies. On the Route 53 dashboard, click on the registered domains menu on the left hand side. This will list any registered domains that you currently have. As you can see, I do not have any registered domains at the moment. To register a domain, click on the registered domains button, which will open the domain search tool. You will use the domain search tool to check the availability of the domain that you want to register. In this instance, the domain that I want to register is astuteprep.com, so type in astuteprep.com in the search box. Obviously, you have to type in the name of the domain that you want to register. This is the one that I want to register. After typing in the name, click on search. If there is an exact match and it's available, it will be shown in the search result box. Below the search result box, there will be other suggested domains with either different names or different TLDs, that is top level domains. To find the cost of other TLDs like .biz or .co, you can just search for them. So for example, if I search for astuteprep.biz, you can see that it costs $19. Alternatively, you can open this link provided by AWS and you can see that a .biz costs $19 as we just saw. If you search for a domain that is taken, like nktstudios.com, the search result will tell you that the domain is not available. And it will then give you a few alternative suggestions. Now put back the domain you want to search, in this case, astuteprep.com, and click on search. Once it comes up in the search result, click on select. It will then be shown under selected domains and the domain registration fee will be displayed. Here it says one out of five, which means that you can register up to five domains at a time. Click on proceed to checkout to continue. The pricing will be shown again. Here you can choose the registration period that you want with one year being the default, which I'll keep. The maximum is 10 years. Auto renew is also enabled by default and this will send an email to the registrant contact before the expiry of the domain. You can turn it off if you want and the domain will expire after the chosen registration period. I will leave it turned on and then click on next to go to the information page. You will then need to fill in the information for the registrant contact. The contact type is important as this is where you specify what you are. For example, are you a person, a company or a public body? So just fill in the information. By default, the admin and tech contact is set to the same as the registrant contact. If they are different, just toggle off the checkbox and fill it in. Also, privacy protection is turned on by default. When turned on, privacy protection protects your information from people running who is queries on your domain. When done, click on next. This will show the confirmation page where you need to check that your details are correct, including the domain name and the cost. AWS will set up a hosted zone for each new domain you register. A hosted zone is where you store information about how to route traffic for your domain. Lastly, take a look at the terms and conditions. And if you agree with them, then select the checkbox and click on submit. You will get a confirmation that the order has been successfully submitted and is currently being processed. You will receive a registration status email for the domain you would have registered, as well as confirmation that a hosted zone for the domain was created. Close the information pop-ups, and if you refresh, your domain will be displayed. In the next video, I will show you how to add records and host a website on this domain as well as attach a free SSL TLS certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. Thanks for watching.